This cake looks so good. I can't wait to taste it. Oh no, Maria. Mmm, yummy. Hey everyone! Welcome to our channel! <laughs> I'm Vivian of the Angels TV Canada channel. Today, I'm gonna bake a red velvet cake. Since it's my husband and I's 10th year wedding anniversary, and I'm gonna make it a very special cake and you will see later it's a red velvet cake because I love red <laughs> and you will see the the result there's a twist on it so please watch until the end of this video okay so let's now start I'm gonna bake now a two layered cake and six pieces of um cupcakes that's why we have cupcakes because you know kids love to eat cupcakes rather than the sliced cake right so yeah and now here are the ingredients um three cups of this cake and pastry of flour and two and a half um, teaspoon of this cocoa or cocoa <laughs> and one teaspoon of this baking soda half teaspoon of this salt okay and also I prepared here a two cups of sugar and one piece of this um, unsalted butter okay three eggs and also a teaspoon of uh, white vinegar um, to uh, to moisten. Since we are making two layered cakes, so I need to have this too. Okay, so um, I'm gonna apply this um, cooking spray, a nonstick cooking spray to our um, baking pan. And then I will put some of this um, flour so that uh, it's easy for us to take out the cake from the baking pan. Okay, so um, I'll just put this one. It's easy to apply, you see? Yeah. Spray it all over. Also this too. Okay, yeah, and then we'll put some of this um flour scattered all over too so that it's easy for us to take out the cake when it's already baked. So I'll just put this one around. And then we'll just do like this. Yeah, so this is ready now. We'll just set aside. And this one too. And it's ready now. Not yet. Okay, and it's ready now. And we'll just set aside too. So now, um, we're gonna mix this wet um, ingredients using this um, large bowl. Okay, or a large mixing bowl. Mix first the um, unsalted butter. And also the sugar. So I'm gonna slice it. It's already soft. Mm. 
but still cold okay then I'm gonna add this this for about two minutes so the sugar and the butter mixed well and moist <laughs> Then now we can add a vanilla extract, a 2 teaspoon. Add the olive oil. And before we mix the buttermilk, we will mix first the vinegar. Okay. And yeah. Since it's, it's all mixed, okay. Since it's, it's all mixed, now let's um, mix the dry ingredients. Okay, the the flour and 
then cocoa or cocoa. Add the baking soda. Then salt together. And then mix together. Before we mix this together, um, we will ready the oven. We need to preheat for um, 350 degrees, um, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. So um, bake 350. Okay. Let's mix this um, dry ingredients to, uh, to into a large bowl with a wet one. So we'll mix this together um, little by little. coloring um, of course because it's red velvet so we will use a red food coloring so I'll just put some um, this a half spoon of food coloring okay Taste kind, so it's sticky. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Okay now, so it's um, done um, mixing. We can now uh, transfer to the um, baking pan. So here's the baking pan that we have and we will just divide it into two. So, So we will have some left here for the cupcakes. This for the cupcakes. And okay. I'm using this um, ice cream um, scooper so that it's easy for me to put some of this um, mixture in. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy. Then I will finish it all. Shake so that it will 
um, like balance or flat. Yeah, so we have here and uh, one for our two layer cake and also the cupcakes. Oven, uh, it's already preheated. Okay. One at the top and one at the bottom. Or, uh, let's say, side to side. Yeah, and our, this at the bottom. While waiting for uh, 30 minutes, um, we will do the frosting. I will make this a different one. Like the frosting, um, I'll just mix a cream cheese and a butter. But no, add, no need to add a powder sugar because for me, um, I want to use this chocolates. Okay, this is a um, milk chocolate. I know it's, yeah, it's a milk chocolate and also a white chocolate. We don't eat much of the chocolates, so I am thinking of why I'm not, why uh, not using it for my baking. So um, later you will see how will I do this to make my um red velvet cake a special one okay so first um i will mix first the uh unsalted butter and the cream cheese melt this um unsalted butter for um 15 seconds or 30 seconds let's see <laughs> okay this is my first try So it's melted. Use a whisker to uh, to flatten. And then I will add a a cold um, cream cheese together with the butter. So the chocolates are sweet already, so no need to um, add a powdered sugar in this one. Uh, yeah, I finished it all. So you know, uh, mix this until it's like fluffy so it's ready um i will uh um refrigerate this for um 10 minutes just cover with a cling wrap so just right timing for uh, to finish our baking or
Maybe we'll take it out. All right, I will use this uh, one. So let's set aside our cupcake. Let's just leave this for five to ten minutes before we take it out. Okay. So we're not done with our frosting yet. So this is um, for the topping. So um, I will melt this into uh, in the microwave and. a bit of um, fresh mail yeah okay and um, microwave for let's check about the uh, my first uh, time creating this um, with a frosting and also with the, um, the topping. Since it's already melted, I just use this uh, spoon to mix So my trick to uh, to make this having um, looks red because <laughs> of course it's a red velvet so I need to do a red topping so um, um, I will put some food coloring okay of course red so dark because of the um <laughs> let's see i think i need only um use a white chocolate <laughs> so that it's not this super dark <laughs> anyways it's okay okay so let's uh put some Frosting on this one. Yeah. I'm so excited. It's kind of melting still. Mm. Anyways, it's okay. Um, just some add some frosting. Oh, it's melting. Okay, and then we will place this one upside down. Mm -hmm. easy to do the frosting actually
Okay, we will uh, put our final touch. <laughs> So this is our final touch, the chocolates, the melted chocolates, um, oh, I think it's like so sticky now, um, seems need to uh, warm again for a bit, so it will like melt and yeah, so for a while, I will just, uh, warm a bit of this one again so it will like scatter by itself so about 30 seconds yeah and then after this I need to put some frostings also on this one um, for the cupcakes yeah, but just little because um, they don't like much of some sweets, so um, just a little bit. This is the mixture of white chocolate, um, dark chocolate, and also with a little bit of fresh milk okay so i will just pour this here and let it melt till look at that look at that This cake looks so good. I can't wait to taste it. Oh no, Marian. Mmm, yummy. Even Marian wants to eat it. <laughs> How did you make the frosting and the icing, Ma? It looks so cool. Yeah. Okay. Oh well. Yo, can't wait. Okay, let's nice, eat nice. together. Um, let me do that. Okay. Okay. Just wait. All right. We're tasting the cake. Um. <laughs> okay, can't wait to taste the cake. <laughs> yeah, so um, last last night they are sleeping, so um, we didn't get to eat the cake, <laughs> but we did get to eat the cupcakes. They were delicious. I've never eaten a red velvet cake before. I mean, red velvet cupcake before. <laughs> You like it? Yeah, I wonder if anyone else experimented that. Uh -huh. Okay, let's have this for a while. Mm -hmm. Let's taste the cake in one, two, three. <laughs> cake tasting. <laughs> oh, can't wait to taste this. Mari, I'm just very crazy about getting I'm the so cake. <laughs> to hold the fork. Ding 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 ding. Whoa. Okay. Wow. The cake looks so moist. <laughs> Whoa. 
Oh, yes. Ma, I don't think that's gonna work if it's like that big. Are you sure? Mm. You need a fork up there if you want to get mm -hmm. it. I am, I am a cake getting master. <laughs> over here, over here, over here. See, look at that. It looks so moist. Yeah, I know. Okay. Mm.